Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Errol Spence says he wants to be remembered as an all-time great. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and the greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, hit the bell icon. Shout out to the super chat. Shout out to the donations. And shout out to the Patreon patrons. We working. Now, this went under the radar. A lot of people aren't really talking about it. I was just hip to it right now. And Sports Illustrated on their verified Instagram, or actually YouTube account, their verified YouTube account, they did an interview, like a one-on-one -on -one exclusive with Errol Spence Jr. And he said some good stuff. I will link to it in the description in case you want to listen to it, see it verbatim. It's one of those interviews where you can't hear the was that whoever's asking him the questions. You don't see the questions on screen or nothing. It's just him responding to stuff. I don't know. It looked like it was... I don't know, it looked like he might have just woke up, like it was like a morning, probably one of them early AM interviews, but what he said in there was good, he had a lot of good responses, a lot of stuff that I like, and I want to talk about kind of the welterweight division. So in this interview he says he wants to be remembered and put up there with the great names in the sport, the Ray Robinson, Sugar Ray Leonard, Floyd Mayweather, and he wants to be remembered in that light, and he wants people to reflect on his career like, man. This dude went after it. He fought everyone he could. And he says he wants to remain with his faculties intact, financially stable. This is good, man. I, I really don't even understand at this point. And not, not just from knowing Errol Spence Jr. But I don't understand how you can't like this dude at this point. You know what I mean? For all those people that say, oh, I don't like boring runners and all that bullshit. That's not his style. You know what I'm saying? He's mindful of his defense, but he's not like Edislandi Lada, for example, where he's he's real evasive and you know what I'm saying? Like maybe more of a boxing purist would, would understand or appreciate his style. I mean, he, he comes after it. He's blocking and shifting. He's trying to throw punches with you. You know what I'm saying? He's aggressive. The body work is nasty. You know what I mean? So I really don't understand what it is as a, as a fighter. He seems like a very humble kid. And he seems motivated and hunger and has that hunger. And see, this is the thing. This would part of the game is missing. <laughs> and the thing is so funny is Errol Spence. He's been around the, the biggest stars in the sport. You know, what I mean, Freddie Roach. He's been around the Floyd Mayweather. He's even spar Floyd Mayweather, Adrian Broner. You know, what I mean, when Broner was undefeated, if I'm not mistaken, stuff like that. So he's been around the money and the glamour and the glitz. Not necessarily saying it was his money, but he's been around that element. And every time I hear him in an interview, he's very consistent. He's consistent about wanting to be great, wanting to fight the best. And win, lose, or draw, you got to respect that. That's a true fighter because, like I said, it's easy, from my perspective, it's easy to be around Floyd Mayweather and see, like, okay, I've been to Mayweather Gym a couple times, right? You go to the gym, you see them girl collection cars. He might pull up in a Rolls Royce or a Lambo, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You see those different things. You see women, you see a bunch of people. So it's easy to want to have that. I mean, that's what you see. Like, that's just how the game goes. You know what I'm saying? So it's cool to see Errol Spence stay grounded. And even, I'm sure he's seen a lot of that stuff. Broner having diamonds and watches and stuff. And he's still even though he's starting to get that stuff he still remains intact with wanting to prove something wanting to show that he's the best he also said in this interview that he's never been scared he said he kind of just got thrown into the mix of of sparring and he did better than people thought like he did pretty good for not ever having a professional fight or a organized fight and he said he did pretty good and he just it stuck with him he says you don't really go into it. it's like a running back you're going up against a tackle heads up you got adrenaline going you're not really thinking about being scared you just you know the mission you know what i'm saying it's either them or me so all around i like this attitude now the other thing i want to touch on is the welterweight division and danny garcia and sean porter they're going at it it's a good fight but it seems like keith thurman he's on the on the sidelines it really seems like Errol Spence is going to keep 
Even though he's a champion, I was hoping this would change, but nobody, I haven't really seen people looking at Errol Spence's food. You know what I'm saying? I think, I think everyone in the division realizes that he's a difficult fight, probably the most difficult fight stylistically. You know what I mean? Southpaw, he's a banger, can box, boxer puncher. But I haven't really seen it. Like, <laughs> like Jeff Horn wins. I had Pacquiao winning. Maybe people had Jeff Horn winning. But either way, he was he showed vulnerability, even though he had a lot of heart in that performance. Jeff Horn was badly hurt in round nine, I want to say. So whether you had him winning or losing, there were some flaws that were shown. You know what I mean? Lack of defense, badly hurt, and almost out of there in round nine. But he held on. To his credit, shout out to him. And I seen Danny Garcia quickly call out Jeff Horn. I think the next day, Errol Spence been calling out Danny Garcia, and I haven't really seen that. You know what I mean? Sean Porter, he did this whole Macho Man Randy Savage bit, and he's like, "Yeah, Danny, the cherry picker," and he's dressed up and he got real theatrical. Called out Danny Garcia, and that one's a little bit different because the WBC is kind of pushing that one, saying, "I want Sean Porter, Danny Garcia, number one and two guys." At welterweight to fight but still danny garcia i made a video about it he was in the comment section and he quickly responded but when it comes to errol spence he has a belt and i don't really see people lining up and chomping at the bit to fight him and that's just my honest opinion so i i hope for the sake of his career it doesn't turn out to be like a guillermo rigandau where or even a deontay wilder a lot of these guys they, it looks like they really truly want to fight great names in their division, but the eagerness is not always matched by their opponents. You know what I mean? Deontay Wilder, who hasn't he called out? He was down to fight Povetkin. Povetkin couldn't test clean. He called out Anthony Joshua, called out Joseph Parker. He said he's ready for Tyson Fury. And none of the fights are happening. You know what I'm saying? And then you see them fight other people. Same thing with Rigonel. I mean, I don't even have to go through Rigonel shit, but rigging now there's tons of people abner Mata's, leo santa cruz carl frampton scott quigg vasil lomachenko now like you know what i'm saying and i don't know if the eagerness is matched so, oh who is he he wants too much money he's boring stuff like that the good thing that that errol spence has going unlike like a rigging down is they're both southpaws but spence is more in your face with his style you know what i'm saying he's more aggressive so you definitely can't do that. Oh, he's, he's boring. He's he's a runner shit with Spence Jr. So me personally, I just hope people with the right attitude and who treat the championships like I think they should get the most exposure. And that's what I'm going to try to help do on my channel. And I just want to see him get the big names. You know what I mean? He had to wait a pretty, pretty lengthy amount of time just to get the Kell Brook situation cracking. You know what I'm saying? And I, I don't think it's fair that other people get to get keep getting thrown in big fights and then he finally does his damn thing becomes a champion and you don't really it's like all quiet on, on the western front you know what i mean i don't really see people going at errol spence jr so it's in one regard it's a compliment but at the same time fuck a compliment i want to see them fights let me know what you guys think of the sports illustrated interview with errol spence jr Link in the description. Make sure you share the video, like the video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.